Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where today the galaxy is not at peace, and therefore we're going to be doing something incredibly stupid. See, I am not too familiar with bowgunning, and I've never used a bowgun against a uh, Garuga, but because this is the Metroid quest, we're, we're using this set against a uh, Hyper Garuga. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. All will be well. I've got it upgraded almost as far as possible. Like, uh, the various suit stuff is all one upgrade away from done, which that would give me eh, 36 more defense. So not a huge amount. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've got for skills. It's not bad. So, dazzling shots are pretty amazing, and they're what make this gun fantastic. Like, it's pretty good otherwise, but the fact that it's got these shots just makes it amazing. Especially because it rapids them and carries so many. But yeah, I, I've never gunned a Garuga, and now I'm gunning a Hyper Garuga. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's uh, angled a bit less wide than I had expected. I think I might have been too far for those. I don't know the critical distance for any of these shots, so do forgive me. If I am just throwing damage away. Oh, that's right. Oh, and I don't have a hunter art right now. That's definitely going to help. I mean, I would have brought, like, the boring hunter art that just reloads stuff. But, I mean, it is boring. I need to remember that it's X to reload. It'd be kind of nice if they just let A be an auto-reload when you're out of ammo. Because I'd much rather at least get the reload than just sit there shaking the gun. You know? Oop. I kind of like the noises this armor makes, but I also kind of don't. Like, I go both ways. Yeah, if it would just reload instead of doing that little shake, it would be much more good. Yeah, give me that special reload. Uh-oh. Ow. Something not well known about Garuga, those beak slams of his do dragon damage. And, uh, yeah, minus 12 dragon res is not the greatest when you're taking dragon damage from a powerful attack. Goodbye. I love that you can just run forever away if you hit X after doing an adept dodge as a light bow gun. It looks like you can even turn during the run, which is pretty cool. Alright, last two dazzling shots. Pairing the, the all all of these dazzling shots with true shot up is amazing, by the way. And now we're out of Dazzles. So, I guess... Sure, Garuga takes next to nothing from Thunder, but... In fact, many parts of him take nothing from Thunder. But still, we can make use of the Pierce. Though, it, it's not rapid or anything, so I think we'll just... Well, it, it does get the True Shot boost. If not for the true shot boost, I would just not be using these. 
And honestly, I'd probably be better served by just not using them. But whatever. Uh, let's use paras. Only get one shot per clip, but it is what it is. I'm thinking probably like three or four shots to get a para. Well, hopefully it's four. Nope, it's more than four. Well, at least we know for a fact. Like, since it was more than three, there was no way we were going to get more than one para. Okay, let's use these dragon shots. Dragon does decently against Garuga. And it looks like we got a pretty good pierce there. And he is leaving. Ooh, nice. We, uh, we're hitting the arty refilly spot. Which would have been really nice if we had an art. But we don't, because I neglected to do that part. Okay, let's hop down here. I like having more room to maneuver rather than being up higher, especially when fighting something that flies anyway. Thankfully, Freeze is okay against Garuga. It's not great. This gun, the only element it can't shoot is the element that is great against Garuga, which strikes me as weird considering what quest it comes from and the fact that this is supposed to, you know, represent Ridley. And they're like, hey, let's give it every kind of shot except what it would want to get rid of the Ridley. Uh-oh. Ow. Yeah, we just got damaged by the, like, couple frames where it was moving forward before the Pex that I have called out as being one of the reasons I just really don't like Garuga in this game. Because it doesn't look like it's actually using an attack on you, and the hitboxes for the Pex are actually really good on the beak. But the, like, two frames of running that you don't even see... Those still have the full normal running hitboxes. So, let's go ahead and get some more of these. Don't want to be caught with our pants down if he gets in this trap. So, I'm just going to shoot his face as much as possible. Also, this gun has zero deviation, which is nice. And I've got a recoil speed up, so it reloads. Did I say recoil speed? Reload speed up. So it reloads pretty fast, which is nice. Ow. Yeah, if you've got True Shot up and probably some other damage skills, maybe Weakness Exploit, uh, just the Dazzling Shots alone is enough to break an Akantor or an Akonlos' back really quickly, which makes this gun amazing for uh, farming Zenny or Akantor into Akonlos parts, because their quests, the sub-quest is to break their backs. Uh, please no murdering. Uh, I want to remain unmurdered. Oops. Okay. Broke something. Probably the face. Yeah, he's missing an ear now. Dang it. Thought I was out of range there, because it's clear his beak itself absolutely did not hit me. Garuga's hitboxes are a very mixed bag. You know what? I'm going to use these clust shots. 
Plus this fun. Besides, I mean, what else am I going to do? I also like how uh, when you're wearing this armor and using this gun, you put your gun in your gun. And you may have noticed I'm using a silencer with this thing. Um, I don't remember why. There was probably some reason. Uh-oh. Might have been related to deviation or recoil or something. Though, I think this might naturally have no deviation, so if it's deviation, I probably should have paid attention and went for the long barrel instead. Do some more damage. Well, that was a terrible clust. Ow. Yeah, we are not going to do so hot on this quest when it comes to our healing supplies. I'm not used to gunning anything, much less Garuga. And much, much less Hyper Garuga. That was a much better clust. Um, way to try and go down below, but face plant into the ground instead there, Garuga. You did it. Ow. Okay, I need to shove honey into my potions. And then shove mushrooms into my herbs. That was nice. Should have unsheathed with a reload there. Um, way to try and jump down and then fail. Ooh, that was, that was nice. And now we want to put some crags on that face. Maybe get a KO. That would be lovely. Oh, that's right. We've got two shots with this ammo. Not one. I was reloading because I was still thinking clust. No, that's not the face. That's the face. Reloading like this whenever possible is a good idea. Get that extra little bit of damage. Ow. Thankfully, having two cats with antidote horns means you don't got to care about poison nearly as much. I need to not miss with these crags if I want to get a KO. Consistency is what I need here. Oh, thanks for the reload. Okay. Not doing so hot, but whatever. Oh, nice. And let's just use all the pellet. Ah, I can only shoot three at a time, that's right. I do not have infinite ammo or anywhere close to it. Though I do have nice reloads. And I know I need to worry about my health more, but... I'm here alone. Pellet is fun. Don't use pellet if you've got a bunch of melee friends, but if you're fighting this thing alone, use it to your heart's content. Look at all those hits. Unfortunately, there don't seem to be any pellet magnets on Garuga, so there's nothing that attracts pellet shots, which is unfortunate because some monsters have pellet magnets on their weak points, so pellet is super amazing on them. I think Zenogre is one of them. Pretty sure its face is a pellet magnet. Eh, the paint wore off. I don't know where this thing went, but there are two places it could have gone. Let's check this one first. 
Nope. So hopefully we'll find it on the other side. I also need to start using my normal shots because I do have feline sharpshooter, which increases the damage of normal shots. Here, have some paint. Or don't. How about now? There we go. I really wish I had a hunter art. That would make this quest go faster, probably. But hey, whatever. This quest isn't going to go fast anyway. It's not the fastest quest even when I'm using a weapon I'm familiar with. Because Garuga just so happens to be another one of those monsters that, when hyper, can cause problems. Hooray reload. Gotta be more careful about my distance when using different shots. Because if I'm not using critical distance, then this quest is going to take way longer than it needs to. That's the thing about guns. You need to know a lot about the different kinds of ammo if you want to if you're wanting to get good times. And I just don't have that knowledge. Never really took the time to gain it. Mainly because I've only used guns basically in arenas and for like three other quests. They're, they've always been kind of, for my use, the fun joke weapons. Like, I've never seriously used a gun. I don't get the reload when I have my weapon put away. Also, I did. That's a shame, but whatever. That's only cart number one. We can still pull this out. And if I manage to beat this quest, then everything I get... Uh, all the... All the parts I get to make this armor and weapon will get to go towards upgrading the armor further. Which is nice. Unfortunately, this quest is one of the ones that basically the special thing you get from it is used to make far too many things. Like, if you want to make everything this quest has to offer, then you're looking at 16 armor pieces and a weapon. And the armor pieces each take two of the special thing in order to fully upgrade. And the weapon takes six. So if you want to make everything this quest has to offer and fully upgrade everything this quest has to offer, then you're looking at freaking 38 of its special item. And usually you only get like two to four per quest. So yeah, it, it takes some time if you want to make everything. That's a lot of time fighting Hyper Garugas. I wish this gun had more things it could rapid fire that were good against Garugas. Unfortunately, Thunder is not terribly good against Garug. And I'm pretty sure it rapid fires regular Thunder in addition to the Piercing Thunder. I don't know if I'm even hitting with most of the bits of this pellet shot. I'm just kind of using it because... I don't even know how much damage it's doing. I don't know a lot of things. Ow. Nope.
No. Interrupted our antidote, and then I used my herbal med after the poison wore off. Good strat right there. Wait till poison wears off, then use an herbal med to recover a tiny bit of what you lost. Ooh, I am so glad you missed me. Ow. Yeah, I shouldn't reload when I'm within beak slam range. That's not a good plan. In fact, it's a very, very bad plan. Let's use the pierce shots. Why not? Pierce shots are good, right? I mean, against things that you can get the full pierces on, yes, absolutely. Against other things, not so much. And I don't know which one this Garuga falls under, but I have a feeling it's going to be the one that's more annoying for me. Goodbye. That run is just downright fun. I like how this armor carries such high resistances to almost everything. I just wish it didn't have that word almost in there. Hey, uh, Groog, yeah, go for the cats. I brought this silencer for a reason. And it's not so that you'd go for me. Yep. Yep. Looks like this is actually a pretty good angle. There we go. Dodging that beak slam is way better than eating it. Of course, eating that tailspin isn't great. But we do have double or er, er, detox horns coming our way. And what kind of horn is that? Ooh, very nice. What kind of minion monsters are even in this area that you would need to use that sonic horn, cat? Ow. Oh, Nahabras. Yeah, if I can get... Okay. Yay, we got killed by it moving forward a tiny bit to do its tailspin. You know, the attack with no wind-up, next to no visual, and a terrible hitbox. Only the worst attack in the game. Because it's not even an attack of its own. It, the Guru just uses it to get in position for a different attack. It's terrible. Wasted my energy drinks. There, got all the stuff. And if we drink this, then we get some kind of benefit because of Tropic Hunter, so. Uh, right? Yeah. I think it's attack up. Maybe it's defense up. But either way, it's a thing, and I've got it now. Well, hey, got my reload. But yeah, going straight through the face with these pierces is good. Problem is you need to be looking straight at the face, which means the face is looking straight at you. And when the face is looking straight at you, things like that can hit you. Oh, someone's upset. Uh-oh. Ouch. It's kind of interesting how Garuga's Beak Slams do dragon damage, despite being unable to inflict Dragon Blight. Or rather, it's interesting that they can't inflict Dragon Blight despite doing dragon damage. That's more accurate. Uh, Garug, can you not go for me for a bit? I kind of need health. 
And I should be using these. Of course, not when there's a Garug coming for my face. That just completely wasted the Mega Potion I drank earlier. No, please don't destroy my face. I need it for having a face. Okay, Garug. Yeah, go ahead and leave. That's fine. Gives me a chance to reload. I'm probably going to fail this quest. I never expected anything different, really. But at least I get to have a good time using a weapon I don't normally use. Just doing something silly for the sake of doing something silly. And if I manage to clear the quest, so much the better. And if I don't, oh well, it's not outside the realm of expectation. Um, Garug, I, I wasn't up there. There isn't even a ledge up there. I don't know where you were going or what you thought you were doing, but it didn't work. I should try and get a ride, but that requires me to get close to the Garug, which is unsafe. Goodbye! wonder if I can end that run early. I think I can by, like, dodging out of it. But I don't know for sure. I don't recall. Hey, we broke a wing! Ow, our face. Ow, our quest. Alright. Well... Looks like Ridley wins this one. Even the gravity suit wasn't enough. Well, that's a nice up close and personal death screen. <laughs> And no, I will not be going back for revenge. Sometimes you just gotta let these things be. But anyway, that's it for this quest. Join us next time when we do another event. See you then, friends.